Hello, this is Miss Teresa. In this video lesson, I will discuss barometers and manometers. The success criteria for today is to explain how to use barometers and U-shaped manometers. Look at this cute drawing. This is a simple barometer, and in this case, it is filled with mercury. This side over here is exposed to the atmosphere. That is why it can measure the atmospheric or air pressure. As the air pushes the mercury down where it is exposed to the atmosphere, the mercury in the cylinder rises up slowly. This space over here is a vacuum. There should be no air bubbles inside the space, otherwise it will affect the reading of the air pressure. The air bubbles will exert a force opposing the air pressure, thereby giving you a wrong data. The normal air pressure is approximately 760 mm of mercury or 76 cm of mercury. All barometers depend on the density of the liquid used, the height of the liquid in the cylinder, and the gravitational field strength which is always equal to 10 newton per kilogram. So, P is equal to rho hg. Now let's go to manometers. This is a U-shaped manometer. It measures the pressure difference between two gases, usually an unknown gas trapped inside the cylinder and the other end of the tube is open to the atmosphere. The tube of the manometer is filled either with water, alcohol, or just mercury. The pressure of the trapped gas and the air pressure are both pushing down the tubes at the same time. So, if a liquid is inside a U-shaped tube, you can see height difference between them. The height difference depends on which gas exerts a greater pressure. In this case, the air pressure is greater than the gas pressure. So, to solve for the gas pressure, we will use air pressure minus the height difference. It also works the same way if the gas pressure is greater than air pressure. To solve for the gas pressure in this case, we will add the air pressure and the height difference. Whatever type of liquid is used inside a U-shaped manometer, it will always depend on its density, the height difference, and the gravitational field strength. In this video, we learned how to use barometers and manometers. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. This is Ms. Teresa, signing off.